ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. So let's play Morrowind. Specifically Tamriel Rebuilt at the moment, where, uh, yeah, this jerk over here, I'm not going to try and do the command creature spell on him. We're not. There wasn't anything in these worth taking, so I'm just going to go and avoid that entire headache. Oh dear. So previously we came to the citadel here of Rilla Deer. Belonging to House Inderil, ruled by Inderil Ilvi, who we've still not actually met yet. We're mostly just exploring the place at the moment. Exploring the place, seeing what's about, seeing who there is to talk to. And uh, we've just decided that uh, now seems as good a time as any for Fathis. To have a little smoke on the old pipe. There he is. I'm running around with the pipe. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but hey. Indoral Gong. So we have a couple of quests, actually, uh, at the moment. Two of them are bounties. Uh, bounties have been offered uh, for a notorious Valk poacher. Uh, she was last seen in Felm's Ithil by a guard named Ivelles Thelville, so I'll need to check that out. Forget Felm's Ithil, I suppose, is, is, the, is the elk... Herding village, isn't it? I, I remember that place. And uh, another bounty has been offered for Jajaba, an escaped Khajiit slave who was last seen on the road north of Rilsoan and is wanted dead. Uh, we also have Duranya, a representative of Lord Indra Ilvi, the High Elf Lady. Uh, she sent us to investigate the Civet Tong in Vol. Our primary objective is to uncover any potential link between the Tong and House Lalu, and our secondary objective is to report any crimes individual Tong members may have committed. Now, um, I'm more interested, from Fathers' perspective, in maybe disrupting House Lalu activities in the area, because we don't really like House Lalu very much at all. Less concerned about being a snitch um, for the Tong criminal activities. Giving, sticking it to House Slalu, great. Um, snitching on the, uh, the the tong, less great. So, oh look, little pixely magical smoke spark things on the left there. I've just seen that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep exploring Roadier for now. See if we can find Indurel Elvi himself. Should be around here somewhere, I assume. Oh god, the frame rate. Oh god. Oh no. I forgot the game crashed at the end of the last episode, so this view distance has been reset. Okay, that's that's still pretty laggy, but that's better. Right. Statesman's Hall, I think that's where we just were. Crossing of Lamps. Black Hand Hall, Tolman's Hall, Lay of the Post, Hall of Judgment, and the Sanctum we were in earlier. Why don't we go to the Black Hand Hall? That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Who's this fella? Leave me. Indra Laren. Who I asked myself, do I know like you enough to tell me about this? Not really, no. Carry on. Ooh. Black hand hall. Black hand hall. Guess that's down here somewhere. In a minute I'll run out of patience and just levitate. There's the layover post. Tolman's hall. Do we have a locked gate into a basement? We have High Elf Lady in a very interesting looking shirt. Oh, you're a slave. Oh boy. Twin lamps. Don't trust you enough to talk about that. I don't suppose there is a key around here, is there? I've tried this before. Didn't get anywhere with it. Oh, 
No, no keys. Lotham. Do I have any Lotham for the collection? I, I, do you know I don't believe I do? Thank you very much. What is that? Dried slaughterfish. Oh. Outflow of goods. This Inderal document records all goods sent out to the surrounding villages, other Inderal holdings, or to be traded afar. Oh, hello, everyone. What you doing? Silver ingots. Pumice stones. You're another slave. <laughs> Imperial Guard, no. I need to remove the, um... The mod that's causing that. I keep forgetting to do it. Gendrana Mels. Hello, madam. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to speak? Hello? Guess not. Speak quickly, oh, Outlander, or go away. It's got interesting face. I was going to say tattoos, but they're not. They're really, really. They're more like uh, ritual scarring. Gendrala Mel's a Tolmer and Oathman of Great House Inderil. Hired a Halali merchant was found killed in Almas Thea. Interesting. Uh huh. It's all stuff we've heard before, the rest of it. Oren Law? Imperials worship powerful spirits, but are they the right spirits? They are powerful, but are they good? We used to worship the Daedra, but now we worship the true gods, the tribunal, and the Daedra serve the true gods in fear and humility. Oh, I don't know about that. Frankly, I think your ancestors were onto something. Not that we'll say that to her face. Shipping log. All right, lots of interesting clutter, but it is ultimately only clutter. One moment, folks. I'll just be right back in a second. Hold on. All right. I'm glad I checked when I did on the recording because uh, that was a really weird glitch, huh? My voice turned into a robot for a while there. Don't know what that was about. Um... Yeah. Well, uh, I, I don't know what was causing that or, or what, but uh, whoa, cooked on order. Oh, it turns bright red like a like a like a lobster. Anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry, getting distracted by all the fancy clutter. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, don't know what was happening there. That was odd. I I really genuinely don't get it. In fact, I, I really feel the need to stop and check once again to make sure it really is fine. Uh, Alright, it seems to be fine. Uh, okay, right. Well, I've never had that particular freaking glitch with my recording software before, but there it is. It's the first time for everything. Hello, my lord Indriel Ilvi. Blessed still my house upon you and praise on see What matter of devotion do you bring? Background? Come to me in my chapel to ask who I am. I am. <laughs> do, do you know who I am? <laughs> uh, I'm on the receiving end of that for once. Um, I am Roadier Wanderer. I am the word of law. If you have simple questions, please direct them at my steward or retainers. They might answer. Okay. I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? Oh, I see how it is. Right. Let's, uh, uh, where is it? Where the heck is it gone? Do you 
you know who I am? That's better. Background. I am Indra Ilvi, Seneschal of the Great House of the House of Great uh, House of Great House Indra. Seneschal of the House of Great House Indril, as Lord of Roadir and the Anthirin, it is my ordained duty to serve my house by protecting our ancestral holdings from the corruption that grips House Hlalu. I led a war party in the Arnesian War, so I know full well how to command and hold a front line against assault. With that said, the Hlalu are far shrewder opponents than the mindless savages of the Arnesian jungle. House Hlalu, huh? The Halalu are my fellow Dunmer and countrymen, but they are misguided. They have been corrupted by the decadent customs of the West and their love for the Emperor's gold. Mm. Oh, we can ask him about all the houses. What do you think of House Drez? The Drez have their own ways and their own minds, but are respectful as long as they are respected and do not abide foreign influences. They stood alongside me in Arnesia and broke bread with me. While their understanding of the Triune Path is backwards, I f believe they can be brought into the fold. Hmm. I really want to know what the Dre House Dresser's uh, religious beliefs are compared to theirs. Interesting. Not that we'll find out, I'm sure, because I don't think the House Dres area of the map is due to be added to Tamriel or built for a very long time. But hey. <clears throat> what about House Inderil? We are the House of Saints, the thrice-blessed half Greatest among equals. Under our guidance, the wise flourish while the foolish close their eyes and ears to us and beget folly. We were House Redoran. I feel much affinity towards the pious warriors of House Redoran, and they have always been open to our, our guidance. While they defend Morrowind's borders to their best ability, I have often wished them nearer at hand in recent times. And what about House Telvani? This should be good. <laughs> The Talvani are twisted and dangerous. Their poison is deep and inherent, but familiar. While I caution my eastern brothers to remain wary of them and keep them in check, I believe the dangers presented by the Empire through Fallen House Hlalu are far more volatile and immediate. Well, at least we can agree on that. Rumors? Too busy to stand around gossiping. When seeking advice, anticipate what kind of knowledge you seek and consider who best can provide it. I do not deal in vagaries. My concerns are particular matters of governance and law. Durania handles the general affairs of my domain. Priests will provide answers to questions of faith, savants, insight into the world, scouts, the lay of the land, commoners, common sense. Durania. She's my steward. She has long served House Inderil as a clerk in Almalexia, where her acumen caught my attention. She has served my household faithfully ever since. I ask that you not disturb her on idle cause, as she has much to see to, as I have. A little secret? Be wary, Outlander. I have heard reports of your kind being targeted by assassins in these lands. Some claim it is my house that is stained by black hands, but unfortunately the culprit is unknown to me and lacks the blessing of Mephila. Yeah, well, if they had the blessing of Mephila, I think I'd know about it. But, uh... Not that you'd know that. Your trade? I am governor, arbiter, and cultivator. I see to my realm and ensure all is just and three-cornered. I observe the laws ordained and interpret the laws determined so that the faithful below me can find a way forward. Laws ordained, huh? Ultimately, all mortal law is extension and interpretation of divine law. House Inderil is hardly alone in formulating mortal law, and you will have experience with laws ordained by your kind. Unfortunately, your kind cannot keep their ignorant and heretical laws to themselves and have thrust them upon my house. As a, as a result, I can no longer content myself with admiring the intricacies of divine law and guiding my people in its understanding, but must untangle the net of folly cast upon it at the same time. Mm -hmm. what, what about laws ordained? Oops, sorry. Uh, laws determined, even. The immortal laws. Knowable, yes, but immutable. It is the chief task of us, Inderil, to understand the divine corpus and ordain further laws to allow our brethren to navigate it. Sounds like very oppressive mumbo-jumbo to me, if you ask me, but whatever. Um, Nerevarine? The existence of a Nerevarine is a confused claim, and one we cannot tolerate. Nerevar is in Necrum, 
I have met with him there. I have heard his whispers. A bound soul cannot reincarnate. You met Nerevar, or his spirit in Necrom, huh? Perhaps in time we shall do so as well. That would be an interesting experience. Someone in particular? If you have questions my retainers cannot answer, seek Duranya in the Crossing of Lamps. She is my steward. If you have questions she cannot answer, then you can come back to me. I will be curious to hear a question she cannot answer. She's not my steward for nothing. Specific place. My chapel was not built for the convenience of Outlanders, so you may have some trouble finding your way. This tower is the Warrior's Hall, and it has two exits. The upper exit leads to a terrace, the lower exit to the residence, courtyard, and the crossing of lamps. Go there if you need further directions, or if you wish to speak to my steward, Durania. And of course, bloody Sullipund. Uh, mm-hmm. Armistheia? From this stronghold, the priests of the temple, wise in the teachings of the tribunal, and the saints protect the children of Valoth along the Thea River. Okay. Current events? My chapel is the ever-watching eye that protects the Anthirin. From here, I stand guard over all who live the life Amcv dreamed for them. The Klalu kinsmen and retainers to the west and south wish only to gain a greater foothold in these lands. To them, the Thea River is merely a route for trade. They don't see the path through which the exodus of Veloth battled the harsh currents and first stepped into the heartland of Resdane. That is why I stand firm, Outlander. Dondrel? A village under my guidance. It lies to the north where it is beset by Outlanders, but its people are good and do not stray from the Triune path. Well, we've talked about everything we can, really, with you. Inderul Golvor. You Outlanders are so arrogant to think you can strut around wherever you want. As a matter of fact, yes. I have a badge that says I can. <laughs> I am Indril Golvor, eldest son of Indril Ilvi. If you have no reason to be here, do not let me keep you. My father focuses much of his time at combating House Hlalu over their infractions along the Thea. Though the Hlalu have sold out their house to the Western Masters, their meddling is but a nuisance compared to the Imperials' unlawful usurpation of our lands. They are the true enemies of the Indril and the blessed land of Resdane. Hmm. I am wondering. I could kill that Gwar. Those boots are ruined. If at some point we might be able to assist Lord Ilvi here in dealing with the Hlalu later down the line. I mean, we've got that job to do for Durania for one thing, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting idea. I wouldn't be opposed to it at all. Anything that weakens Hlalu and therefore the Empire is good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Where's on Deuce's key? There it is. Hmm. Fancy dormitory thing. Anything good in these? Not really. Roll paper, a steel dagger, some gold. I'm not gonna nick the gold. The Legend of Lover's Lament, huh? Oh, it's got a fancy picture on the front and everything. Look at that. The Legend of Lover's Lament by Kroll Bomaval. How long is it? Oh, it's not very long. We could read this. <clears throat> the night is very dark. Wind gently ruffles the willow trees. All is quiet, or so it appears, around the shores of the small lake. Tamriel's moons reflect in the slightly rippling surface of the water. An owl's questioning call echoes. No lights are shining from the castle nearby. It appears deserted. As the night wears on, the planet's satellites move across the heavens. A faint glow appears near the castle. The light slowly moves towards the lake and upon reaching the shore, stops. A figure, a beautiful woman by any measure, stands looking wistfully into the dark water. Her lantern flickers in the breeze and illuminates her. Tears are streaming down her cheeks. Her gown, once beautiful, is now tattered and stained. The surface of the lake becomes agitated, but not from a wind, as the night has become still as it is dark. Slowly, from the water, emerges the figure of a man, a warrior. 
fully adorned in the armour of a knight on the field of battle. He seems to float over the water towards the woman and stop just short of her. Madalena, the ghostly warrior intones. My lord Girthland, whispers the lovely Madalena as she kneels. You have come to me again. Yes, Girthland responds. My days are long waiting for the night in which I can see my love. The lovers stand looking wistfully at each other, unable to touch, unable to kiss, unable to satisfy their satisfy their unrequited love until the first tinges of dawn start to colour the western sky. Girthland drops something to the ground, as does Madalena as each depart. The waters of the lake again take possession of the handsome knight, and the beautiful maiden walks slowly back to the castle. As the waters of the lake settle into a gentle ripple, and the light of Madalena's lantern disappears, dawn breaks over the lake. On the shore are two beautiful roses, one crimson and the other white as fresh cream. Ripples from the lake overtake the two flowers and pull them into the lake, leaving the shore bare as it was in the hour as it was in the hours before darkness fell. The townsfolk around Girthland Manor tell often of seeing these lovers in their nightly meeting. The Boar's Bristle Inn is always rumbling with conversation about them. Lord Girthland and Lady Madalena, who were betrothed. Lord Girthland called to battle to defend the land. Hergen, the castle's resident sorcerer, becoming inflamed with love and lust for Madalena, only to be rebuked by her. Lord Girthland's death on the field of battle. Lady Madalena's death by her own hand at the news. Hergen's curse on both their souls that will not allow them to rest until Madalena will agree to become Hergen's consort, even in death. Hergen, to this day, wanders the deserted halls of Girthland Manor, hoping that Madalena will agree to his demands, and the lovers continue to meet for a few moments each night on the shores of the lake now known as Lover's Lament. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a Morrowin sort of location, does it really? Girthland Manor. Rolls Bristle in. Probably in High Rock somewhere. Uh, I'll have that for the collection, I think. <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't think that's a shrine to. Right. Um. Anything interesting here? Not really. Is there a eye? Ah, there is an upstairs. He did mention it goes out to a terrace or something. Someone's been practicing their dart throwing. Oh, hello. Another outlander tourist who comes to Roadier to gawk at pretty lights at his famous canals. You're not planning on staying, I hope. But believe me, madam, absolutely not. Lock level 50, huh? What have we got here? A desk containing ABCs for barbarians, really? The mistress? Act 3, scene 2. Oh, it's a play. Ooh, a raunchy play. Oh, <laughs> Must be one of old, uh, what's his face? Crassius's, uh, little concoctions. Whose room is this, and why is the bed all skew with? There's an indoral amulet on it. Hmm. Um, hello. I'm, I'm the cleaner. Out of my way. Have a gate, a candle, and one, two, three, four, five, six gold coins. I wonder what the oh, that sound effect. I remember it from bloody uh, Thief to the Metal Age. Um, I wonder if that has some weird significance.
Oh, I do love some scrib jelly. A biscuit. It's like a really wonky party ring, that, innit? <laughs> Crab meat. All this dinner laid out and nobody's eating it. What is going on? Ah, so this is the terrace upstairs. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Sermon of the Saints. No. Oh. Who's left this book outside? What if it rains? I don't know. Well, it's getting late, isn't it? Look at that skyline, though. Very pretty. With the tall cliffs, with the trees on the top. And the river down below. Very nice. Very picturesque, that right there. Beautiful. Uh, however, does this go further up? It does. Uh, it goes up to some sort of barracks, looks like. Where is... Oh. What have we got in here? Mixed Unit Tactics Volume 1. Oh, oh, you don't like the Imperials, but you've been reading their books, haven't you? <laughs> right. Do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to head back downstairs. Oh, there's a way back down. Wait. Gonna wish Indra Lilvi farewell and uh, slip on my ring and disappear Bilbo Baggins style. There we go. Uh, let's go... Do you know what? Maybe I should go to the vault. I think I have probably a bunch of things I can put in the library. Be sorted by the librarian. But having said that, I also have a bunch of books in the lab that I need to offload to the library as well. So let's go to the upper tower first. Pop over to the lab. I might also go see Leruvi and see if I, I might see if I've got anything worth selling to Leruvi just to get a little bit of a cash injection. Because I've been spending a lot of money lately. Ah, home sweet home. We talk to Ed. Your mouth is not in the Talvani Council House. Oh, of course, right, yeah, he's on his mission. Isn't he? With the invisibility potions. The secret lab! <laughs> yes. Right. Books, 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 books. Yes, big pile of books. Lots of books over here, the Dwemer related ones, actually. Do I want to put these in the library or should I leave them here? I think I'll leave them here. This big old pile of stuff, on the other hand. You're coming with me. Now I have a feeling most of this probably won't get sorted by the librarian because it's not compatible with the mod. But if that's the case, I'll just shove it in one of the, the book cupboards in the library. Just need to make some room in here. It's all getting a little bit too cluttered. Oh, bloody hell. There we go, that's better. Move her encumbered with books! Uh, anything worth taking to sell? Glass Storm Sword, for sure. Daedric Club, why not? I'll probably do. Oh. Let's replace the book end so it's not... Oh dear, no, that's not... that won't do either. There we go. So the book end's not floating in midair, was what I was going to say there. Alright, cool. Uh... Put on your ring, there you go. Right. Uh, vault. What up, Steam Centurion? Okay. Ah, he's here. I did wonder if he'd maybe gone to bed but at this point, but no, we're in luck. Excuse me. welcome to you. Organize my books, please. Shell these immediately. 
There we go. Ah, oh, right, of course. He took the whole poison song from us, as well as that extra sermon of Vivek. You've completed a volume. Hooray. Huh. I will copy and show them once. Wait, except for that one, Galdin's book. I will not take unfinished manuscripts. You'd be best return it to him immediately. Galdin's book? I don't know. Uh, 36 lessons of Vivek. You know, it sometimes surprises me when I bother to think on it that Vivek only has 36 lessons to give. He's certainly been around long enough to say more, but he hasn't had much to say for himself for the past few centuries. He's lost touch, letting his ordinators rule, pushing everyone around, kicking avid scholars from their ranks for showing any actual interest in their studies. Not that he's bitter, I'm sure. Uh, right. Okay, let's see. What have I got? Oh, plenty of books to dump. All right. Fine, let me just make this a bit easier. Here we go. Tell for harness and ledges. Yeah, I got all sorts of crap in here. Right, of the Enderil, here's his tail. Lament for Pelinol. Maps of Eastern Anthiran. I'll keep that. Alagriad, we don't need. Western Anthiran, I'll keep. Uh, Gillen Lorethi's speech can go in there. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Ebonheart of History. Destruction of Distraction. Fable from Valenwood. We got the Failure of the Empire, the Dreadful Theft, the Fall's Homily, Gospel of St. Valor, Volume 2, Spectrum Study, the Warp West, the True Telvanian Ability, Varieties of Thought, Volume 1, Van Fels Epidemic Corpus, Tar Heel Study Book, uh, The Legend of Lover's Lament. Okay, so it's more or less sort of thing. Sacred Lands, we'll keep those. Alright, cool. Book sortage has now occurred. Excellent. Uh, ooh. The old 36 Lessons of Vivek collections filling up. Although I don't have as much of the 2920 series as I thought Welcome, I did. Friend. I feel as though I should know you. As I'm your lord and master. That's why you should know me. Uh, lots of 36 Lessons of Vivek to get still. Uh... Poison saw. Ah, there it is, the whole bloody thing. Prime progress of truth. I think I will do that. I will. I think I will actually read the poison song as part of a separate video at some point. It's it's a bit lengthy in total, but it. It's, I remember it being quite good. Quite a sad, tragic tale, actually, if I recall. But I enjoyed it. Book collection is. Well, it's got a lot more holes in it than I thought, if I'm honest. Especially over here. Yeah, a lot of holes. I need to start just picking up every bloody book I see at this point, don't I, really? Just to make sure that the collection is filling out properly. Right. Uh... Actually... I checked in on the prison for a while. I'll pop in and see how people are doing. Is Captain Trenum on duty? He is. Hello, Trenum. Warm welcome to you. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, okay. I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. Archmagister, we have a new prisoner. The tower guards caught us late last night in your bed, of all places. Her name is Marilla, and we tossed her in a cell number three on the right. There's more about her in the updated prison log. Marilla. Oh, yes, the new prisoner. Uh, she was caught lying naked in your bed. We're not entirely sure what her motives are, though she claims she was sent as a gift by someone you know. She could be an assassin for all we know, so we've put her in cell number three. It's uh, the first one on the left-hand side as you enter the prison. I haven't had a chance to loosen her tongue yet. I'd be happy to torture her for you, unless you have some better ideas. Mm-hmm. Prison administration. I actually can't do anything with that. That's weird. Hmm. On 
somewhere right, did he say? Yeah. Hello. Who the devil are you? Ah, oh, so you finally came down to see me here. I really must speak with you, Fathers Alden. Please, hear me out. I was sent by a friend. And why were you found naked in my bed? I was told to get your attention using any means at my disposal. Unfortunately, things didn't go quite as planned. Uh, please, I, I must speak with you in private. Hmm. All right, fine. Tell me who sent you. She leans close to the door and whispers, Caius sent me. <gasps> Plot twist! Okay. Please, not here. The guards might overhear us. Isn't there some place private we can go? Yes, if you could lead me somewhere where we can talk. Give me your clothes before we go. All right, so people think that she's just a prostitute or whatever. Um, this is concerning news on the, on the one hand, because if you may, you may recall, folks, that Fathis actually intended to kill Caius before <laughs> he promptly buggered straight off to uh, back back to Cyrodiil. Um, so this is concerning news. Perhaps he should just have her killed. On the other hand... I'll be able to get some more useful information out of her first. Alright. Why do you need me to take off my clothes? Do you want to maintain your cover or not? My cover? Oh, that. I guess you'll want the guards thinking we're doing something else in private. Ah, uh, it's a good plan, actually. Fine, take them. Great, I'll be back later. Uh, alright, follow me. The way. If I use the travel ring, is it gonna... Actually, are you gonna follow me? Alright, you bloody... <sighs> Whatever. I'm going to give it a try. I'm pressing the hotkey. Thank you. Uh, Tower upper, I guess? I was going to go sell some stuff to the Ruby, but I suppose that'll have to wait, won't it? Um, right. How the hell do you get to... Oh, right. You have to levitate, don't you? Um, can you levitate? Or will just standing in here do? Where are you taking me? Uh, I thought you'd take him to the guard shelter in the dungeon. Oh, I see. Never mind. All right. Why on earth would we go to the guard shelter in the dungeon? That doesn't make any damn sense, considering. Fine. <laughs> Back to the vault, I think, is where we want to go. Uh, tower dungeon... Guard shelter, right. Come on. Shelter looks like a good place to talk. Let's go in there, please. Oh, the, oh right, I see. The game wasn't expecting me to just teleport straight out. It was expecting me to walk out like a normal person. Pah! <laughs> you fools. How fairly, friend. Right. Load Marilla to the small guard shelter in the dungeon. We should have plenty of privacy here. Now to hear what this naked blade has to say to me. Thank you, Fathos. Now we can talk safely. First, I have some questions regarding your dedication to House Telvani. Well, it seems you've allowed yourself to become distracted by all this Archmagister business. I wasn't told much about your mission, but I was to inform you that rising to power in one great house has compromised your position. You were to gain the trust of all three great houses, and this is only going to make your coming work more difficult. So you're saying Caius doesn't trust my judgment? I was just asked to remind you of your duties, that's all. Duties, is it? Caius trusts you more than anyone else in the Blades. The rest of us aren't sure who you are or what you're doing. We trust Caius, but can we trust you? Caius trusts me enough to let me do things my own way. The rest of you owe me the same. Then we're still on the same page. Good to know. I will relay this message to our superiors. Superiors, is it? <laughs> You've risked too much by coming here. You'd better leave. Yes, I'll just be leaving. May I have my clothes? <laughs> no, we'll give them back. Uh, thank you, I'll be leaving shortly. 
journal's been updated. So the blade's checking up on me. I made it clear this would not be tolerated. I will do things my own way, and they'd better not jeopardize their mission by sending any more agents to blow their cover. In other words, leave me alone! Got anything else to say while you're here? Okay, no. Right. Maybe I should just walk around the tower normally a bit more often. Apparently it leads to interesting things. Regardless, though, after the deep tunnels, we go. I have pretty shiny things to sell to... Uh, whoa. The zero statuette. Oh, this is where What's-A-Face hangs out, usually, anyway. Oh, there she is. Couldn't bloody see it. It was too dark down there. I don't think Sarah would want you messing around with her altar to Azura. It's best to leave it alone. Yeah, she's turned it into a little shrine. Huh. Where do... Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, bye. She's going for a swim, apparently. Um, how do I... It's, it's jolly dark in here, you know. But I think it's this way. I could put on my night eye amulet, but I don't really want to. Dash inconvenient, don't you know? I'd have to remove my other decent amulet. Right, La Ruby, hello. Uh, levitate on over to you here. Has your pretty things for La Ruby? Yes, I do. Some nice, shiny things like this glass storm sword. And this danger club. There you go. Uh, anything else, actually, while I'm here? Could give you the glass hell, but I don't think I will. Uh, do you like? <laughs> she doesn't like shiny rings, oddly enough. Which is a bit of a shame, really, but never mind. I suppose you'll take a grand soul gem, will you? Nah, nah, they're more useful to me, you know. In my inventory. Can't have my pipe. I'll do for now. I suppose you want no, you don't want the earth resin. Shoes of the firefly. Do you want those? Yeah. They're not very useful to me, so. Uh, although it's gone over ten grand now, isn't it? Um No, you won't take that. All right, whatever, that'll do. It's another eight grand in the wallet. 70K. <laughs> Love it. Right. Time for us to go back upstairs and get some sleep. Oh, I think I have another pair of shoes for the collection, don't I? Uh, where are they? There they are. Marvellous. <laughs> Anything else? I can dump a few things in the closet here, like miscellaneous bits of jewellery. Like these. An expensive ring. Ah, uh, what else? Common robe, I guess I don't need right now. Uh, what does this one look like again? Oh, it's that one. Yeah, it's the weird one. Kind of, kind of looks like a bathrobe. Um, oh, I can go in there. Uh, this can go in there as well. Exquisite dark metallic ring. Exquisite rings. Extravagant ruby amulet. Exquisite amulet. Sapphire amulets. Mantle's belt. Lord Uvereth's signet ring. Belt of the unarmed. Should really put that back on. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? 
I didn't mark my position before I left Roa Deer. Oops! Never mind. Denstagma's ring. Is there a reason I'm not wearing Denstagma's ring right now? I should be wearing Denstagma's ring, damn it. Right. It's because I was wearing the vampiric ring, I think. Oh, I'm one of the sigil amulets, I forgot. Whatever. Uh, Tragrelar's ring, I can go in there. Don't need that anymore. The ring of Khajiit. Whatever. I'll keep the rest as they are. Uh, but we'll put the Hunter's Amulet of Strength back on, actually. And put the Bolt of the Unarmed on. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the Snow Bear Pelt. Whatever. Put it in there. Uh, rest. And for 12 hours. There we go. Right. Why don't we smoke our pipe? There you go. How much pipe weed have I got still? I have 54 pipe weed. Because that's the way it works. You use the pipe and then you use the pipe weed with it to get the uh, to get the effect up here. So they're nice. Right. Uh, let's see. Slide on down here. There we go. <laughs> Get some breakfast. Good How morning. Delightful. Welcome. It did, it did, it did. Like something to eat. Whatever you've got. Crab omelette. A little something special to my regular omelette. The crab makes for a hearty meal. Will keep you in good health all day. I hope you'll like it. Crab omelette for us. Not Yeth resin. Crab omelette. There it is. Nom nom. Right. I suppose... Archmagister of House Delvani. How may I serve you? By continuing as ever to guard the stairs. Uh, now then. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just recall and see where it takes us. It takes us... Oh, just outside Roa Deer. Perfect. That works for me. Uh, was, wow, was there anything left to do in Roa Deer, actually? Come to think of it. Got a few quests that will see us backtracking slightly. I'd really like to take care of this one involving going back to uh, Vol to ferret out the old uh, the Tong and any house Halalu incident. Uh, in uh, did, um, influence, that's the word I was looking for. That might be there. What's that door lead to? Glass hole. Wow. Oh, it's the Panavis stuff. Funnel then. White Book of 3, 426. Indural notice called alarms. Come, brethren, let us wrest back our ancient rights from the avarice of greedy Lalu hands. Too long have they annexed our territories, stolen our powers, and mocked us in our rituals. Oh, sorry, our trials, even. We must unite! We must drive these foul usurpers from our most sacred lands and restore sanctity to our temples, shrines, and tombs. For too long have they haunted us on our very doorstep. Come, let us rid ourselves of this pestilence once and for all. We rally tonight. Lalu will pay for their insolence. Signed, 
Barris Frothmelon. Hello, Balawen. Who are you? Are you a, you're a slave, aren't you? Nice shirt, though. No, you are not an Imperial Guard. I need to remove that mod that's causing that. What is... Interesting. Hmm. Most curious. Shall leave for now. Lots of fire and water stuff going on here. I'm sensing a theme. Right, ladies and gents, this Vathus puffs away on his pipe here. He's not really puffing though, is he? I think it's gone out. He's just enjoying the taste. Um, I shall see you next time, everyone. Bit of pleasure as always. Uh, next time, I guess we'll be backtracking a little bit by the sounds of it. Uh, it should be interesting. I'm really hoping it leads to a whole bunch of quests we can do related to this area and the Indiril fighting the Halalu and stuff. Could be interesting. Anyway. Um, yeah. Folks. Stay safe. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.